Welcome back. My name is Marek. I'm a software engineer at Source Graph. So as we discussed before, Source Graph's default search mode is called literal search. So performing a literal search is useful when you know the exact string that you're looking for in a code base, like a particular function name or a variable name. Or it could be an error message or the contents of a string or even a code comment. And you can find all occurrences of that across multiple repositories. So here's an example of searching for an error message. Uh, now to reiterate, you don't need to put quotes around the string because in literal search, source graph will treat the query as a whole string already. For more advanced patterns, you can switch to regular expression search. Toggle the button on the right hand side of the search bar. Source graph uses RE2 syntax for regular expressions. You can find references for RE2 syntax online. So let's demonstrate a regular expression search. Here, I'm searching for read file or write file as a regular expression pattern. And I'm making use of the word boundary marker to find whole word matches only. One special behavior in our regular expression matching is that the space character gets expanded to a dot star pattern, which makes it easier to do fuzzy matching within lines, as you can see here. Structural search is Source Graph's third type of search pattern. Structural search helps you search for syntactical code patterns like function calls, arguments, if else statements, and try catch statements, for example. It's basically useful for finding multi line blocks of code or nested or recursive patterns. Structural search is different from regular expressions because it takes into account the syntax of the code. Uh, like balanced brackets or quoted strings. To run a structural search, toggle the button on the right hand side of the search bar. Here's an example of a structural search for a function call. Here, the ellipsis or the three dots is a placeholder syntax. It'll match any number of arguments in this function. Now, here's another structural search for a try catch statement. As you can see, it's matching blocks of multiple lines and is taking into account the nested nature of the curly brackets here. There are other structural placeholders available for matching more advanced patterns. For example, you can match regular expressions within structural search patterns. To sum it up, Source Graph allows you to search using three different search modes. We looked at how each one can be useful in different situations. Next, we'll discuss how to use those search results and how to make the most of the Source Graph search results page.